Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to evaluate the limit if it exists, where we read the limit as t approaches 1 of t to the 4th minus 1 over t cubed minus 1. So what we want to be able to do is to plug in 1 into this fraction and solve the limit. But we can't do that because we'd be currently dividing by um, 0 if we plug that in. So what we have to do is we have to simplify this fraction and then plug it in once we've eliminated some things. So what we have to recognize here is to simplify this. This is the sum of two uh, squares, and this is the sum of two, or sorry, the difference of two squares and the difference of two cubes. And we know how to factor both of those things out. So this is equal to t to the fourth is t squared squared, and one is one squared, t cubed and one cubed. So we know that when you have the difference of two squares, that's equal to the sum of those things, so t squared plus 1, times the difference of those two things, 2 squared minus 1. With the difference of two cubes, you take their difference, so t minus 1, then you take the square of the first one, then you add their product, so 1 times t is just t, and then you take the square of the second one, which is 1. And here we can simplify one more thing. Sum of two squares, you can't factor, but the difference of two squares, obviously you can, we just did it. So we have the limit as t approaches 1 of t squared plus 1 times, so this is two, t squared minus 1 squared. So again, you take their product, or sorry, their sum, and then you take their difference. Now we can see why we did this factoring, because you can eliminate t minus 1. And this gives us the limit as t approaches 1 of t squared plus 1 times t plus 1 over t squared plus t plus 1. And now we can plug in 1 into this fraction. And this will be 1 squared plus 1 times 1 plus 1 over 1 squared plus 1 plus 1. 1 squared is, of course, 1, so this is 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, so this is 2 times 2 over 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, so this is 4 thirds. Therefore, the value of this limit is 4 over 3.